Uh, well, first of all, it was a very different job. It was uh, I was academy director at, uh, at Newcastle and then academy director at, at uh, Everton. There was two very different roles because academies were so different by that time. You know, uh, academies had just started when I started at Newcastle. So, yes, I was I was in charge of the academy, but it was quite a small department, and I coached. I coached every day. I worked with the with the new intake every year and looked to develop them into. To, to then passing them on for the the, the, the next academy team. Um, by the time I got to Everton, the department was absolutely enormous and I found myself stuck behind the desk, uh, which was frustrating, um, but, but necessary because my role was academy director. Um, what's important in terms of developing players? Well, well first of all, technique. Um, because if they, they have, they don't have the technique, and you know we we, we talked about it before the session. Um, that if they don't have the technique, then they can actually put things into practice. They can understand tactics. They can understand what it is that you want them to do. But if they can actually perform the technique, then they're, they're not going to be successful. Um, I I get coached at tennis, and he has to teach me technique. Um, you know, yeah, we could play games all day long, but that won't make me any good as far as a topspin backhand is concerned. So he needs to work on the technical part of it. So many years ago, uh, I heard Rude Hulett saying there are no tactics without technique, and, and I, I agree with him. You have to have those techniques embedded, first of all. So it's great nowadays for academies because you have the players so long that actually the technical work should be done at that youngest age and, and you know you should be yeah continuing to improve the technique uh, making sure that you don't lose techniques that you've that you've learned as a younger player but uh, it means that you can move them on to the kind of more tactical side of the game quicker when i first started in academies we uh, we didn't have the players out of school and things like that, so you were you were starting them at a, a, a technical level, and in the first couple of months of, of me working with players who had left school was to really polish up the techniques. Uh, once the sooner you can move on from them, because you're satisfied with the level of technique of the players, then the the, the better, because then you can start to really kind of teach them the game, and and you know the. Uh, uh, it then becomes about their understanding. It comes ab about uh, the even down to, to game management. So uh, we we wrote a uh, a full program for the academy as a, as academies do a full coaching curriculum, and it was very much at the uh, youngest age groups technique, 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 and that was a way up here and very little tactics, and it gradually swung until it was keeping them top, top, making sure that the, that the techniques are, are still as they need to be. But let's, you know, the oldest groups need to know about game management. It can take them 12 years to get into the first team in 10 minutes to get out if they don't know how to manage the, the, the game properly.